Uh, I'm gonna build... Really? <laughs> I didn't know I have acquired amphibious boats around here. Hi guys, I'm Amite, and welcome back to Tropico 6. Welcome to the Cold War era. <laughs> Last time we finished the World War eras, so now things are a little bit different. Now the economy have changed again. Uh, because if you don't know, this is how it works. In the Colonia era, you get money out of selling the simple things, such as like... Uno, our favorite president is favorite station. Stick around, por favor. Uh, no, thank you. <laughs> Penultimo, shut up. Uh, if you don't know how this thing works, basically in the Colonia era, you make the most money selling rum and cigars and selling sugar in general, so like the rough materials, which are like super easy to get. Then in the World War era, you get the most money out of selling weaponry. And now... In the Cold War era, selling weaponry is no longer profitable the way you want it to be, sadly. Like, this is not Tropico 4. If this would be Tropico 4, then I would be still making lots of money from, from selling, like, weapons, but this is no longer the case. So, we need to adjust ourselves. However, I can still sell a little bit of weapons to the smugglers, so that's fine. Uh, they are buying weapons, but not in a, such a good way as they used to. Uh, anything else? Okay, you're buying rum, that's nice, but nothing else. I'm kind of like looking for good trade offers from the uh, from the smugglers. So maybe I'll be able to make some additional cash out of it. I don't know, we're gonna see. Uh, anything else? Yeah, cotton, we need to get sugar. What else we could try to get? Tobacco. Ooh, oh great. We basically get it at the production price as well. That's nice. Uh, tobacco. Okay, kotka. Cotton, cotton, not enough licenses. Yeah, we don't have enough licenses. Okay, so that thing has been solved. Now, let's see what we could try to do in order to get additional money. Okay, we have new factories unlocked. So first things first, we have to worry about money because at the moment I'm struggling. I'm not making more and I'm not losing money in a terrible way. So basically this is like well balanced, but we need to have like new ways of acquiring cash, of acquiring money. So. We have to work on that thing for now. I'm thinking about building the like all of the factories one after another. Obviously, the vehicle factory is gonna produce you the most cash, right? So finally, rubber will come into play. But before we're gonna get to the vehicle factory, it's gonna take a long time to go. So that's not gonna happen in the nearest future. Um, the thing is, I kinda don't know how this entire trading system works because back in Tropico Five. You could build like a few ports and if you had factories who didn't have resources then the factories will automatically like import uh, resources to to produce stuff okay now you have to do this thing manually and i can only buy set amount of resources from certain amount of countries so basically i cannot like make an island and cover it entirely with factories this would simply not work also i built like this thing last time I can't say I'm happy with this, with this layout. Like this island is very tight, so if I will find like a better spot, I would probably do something different here. But for now, this thing has to stay because we kind of like lack of rare resources, and like that's one of the few islands where I can basically grow most of the stuff in one place. Just saying. Uh, okay, so let's see. Uh, we have those guys living here, which is great. Uh, wait. Sure, the good citizens of I don't think, yeah, we are 96% popularity, so nothing over here. Let's see. Okay, people are not working here. There's a lot of free space. some time, Presidente. Oh, hi. I'm not sure how much or what it cost. And for God's sake, don't tell me. Okay, we just received word that we've stopped and stepping from one, uh, down from Defcon Honeysuckle. It's now Defcon Lavender. <laughs> what? In the rest prospect. I probably shouldn't have assigned those colors names while my wife was decorating the bedrooms. <laughs> Hilarious. Okay, I don't know what I need. Blue immigrants, I guess? Okay, I have nine citizens unemployed. That's nice. Uh, are you making enough money? Okay, you're all poor. Shit. Okay. We need to have like a better housing quality for those guys. Must be at least poor. Okay. I get this thing. Ooh, this. Okay, I could. I think I'll be able to squeeze more people here. Because this thing, like, houses six people. This thing houses, like, how many? 18 people. So, this is, like, a great place to work for the farmers, right? 
if you're gonna demolish this, please say make it squeeze this. Ah, fuck. Maybe you could try to squeeze it here. Come on, work with me, game. Work with me. No, still cannot build it there. So I have to, like, build it here. Hmm. I could try to redo this thing a little tiny bit, and I think I'll be able to squeeze more of it. Yeah, let's do so. Okay, back in the destruction thingy. This, 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 this. Everything needs to disappear. All of it. All of it. We're redoing this sector. Also, we're gonna change this district because I need to house like more people. So you know, uh, basically people who will be working at the uh, at the simple farms and work camps. Work camps. Okay, that was like a bad word, but we'll get the thing I'm aiming for. Uh, get that thing done. Destroy those things, and let's make like a nice decorative parks over here, like the two on two ones actually. Instead of like having the normal ones because there's like I'm bored of those. Uh okay, fountain here. Fountain in the middle. I want the different one, please. Change it. Okay, can I mirror this thing somehow? Uh Okay, this thing works. There we go. Okay, can I make anything else? No, I just have those two. Okay, that's not good. Hey, this one's different. Contact. Yep. Comrade, secure this communication. No, I will transmit a code instruction shortly. Use code boot orange to decipher it unless the first word is red. Then you must use code book red instead. I hope I make myself clear. Ah, uh, invite Eastern Block to embassy. Yeah, the good thing about this, you can accept the quest, okay? And you've got the broker. Call me the broker. You can buy from him. Few opportunities came up. Uh, really where the fuck was well, it? Ooh. Nothing that can be Unlocks proven, the immigration that uh, would otherwise cost two thousand dollars. Okay, well maybe later on. You can. Uh, as an option to activate demands, allowing you to success successfully complete them. Okay, so basically this is the thing. I think. You. Uh. Actually, wait, I'm gonna get those. <laughs> I, I lost the thing. Uh, okay, right, this is the thing. Basically, I wanted to read through this thing. Basically, how this thing works, you buy this, okay? And you have like a demand from those guys, right? So for example, ah, see? For example, Michael Moreno is requesting for me to build a uh, spy academy. And I can convince him that this thing has been done, even though I haven't done anything in that regard. So I can get this thing as well. I can get this thing, level up mandatory waste sorting edict, and she will acknowledge this thing as done, even though I haven't done it. You get the idea. So I'm gonna leave that thing for later on. Uh, okay, export weapons, that's nice, but I'm still looking for something better to sell, and I don't see anything better to sell. Oh my god, this thing looks like from all those old movies, set in like Mexico, or like in general South America, you know, like those criminal movies. Like, basically this thing looks like the slums. It's so nice, though. <laughs> like, if this would be like an action movie, you can like imagine uh, Rock Johnson like jumping from roof to roof, like it's like, Ooh, I'm going, I'm fucking going. <laughs> and like imagine him like jumping from roof to roof, chasing one guy who's traveling around with a car. <laughs> yeah, who am I kidding? Rock Johnson jumping, what? That's, that's like a fucking France fantasy over there. Right, a lot of people are living over here, so that's nice. Now, since I still have like a little bit of room in the apartments, let's see, can I squeeze this thing here? I could. Okay. And then can I try to squeeze the apartments here as well? Yeah. To try to squeeze the... What is it? This thing. <laughs> oh, you're gonna be living in a nice neighborhood, that's for sure. <laughs> Why I'm laughing? My little guy, I don't know. Okay, build those parks over there. So that their lives won't be that bad. Uh, I could try to build like thingy over here as well. No, I can't. Okay, so we're gonna build like chocolate factory over there. Now, what's that thing actually acquires from me? Cocoa and sugar. Okay, I have tons of sugar. Apparently, I need more sugar. But I need coca, sugar, rubber, corn, cotton, coca. Great, we have coca over here. Uh. Okay, this is the upkeep of nearby ranches. This is not gonna help. Tobacco, banana, cotton, rubber. Okay, we have mice over here, so I need to get rid of them first. Anything else? Increase the efficiency by 15%. Ooh, chainsaws. Awesome! Let's upgrade this, so we're gonna get more lumber. 
Uh, okay, nothing over here. Can I upgrade something here, though? Yeah, cryos electricity. I should probably try to make electricity, you know? Can I get something fancy? Hmm. Like, building the coal plant is gonna cost me additional coal. And I already have problems with coal. But wind turbines... That's like infinite power source. Metro station. Passengers can travel from one metro station to any other metro station on the same island. Improves the housing quality of nearby residents, buildings and tourist accommodations. Hey, that's good. I like that idea. That idea is cool. Okay, the chocolate factory is working. Uh, okay, requires power. Consumes 200% more coca, no sugar to produce. Hey, that's nice. Okay, so if I, if I will have like actually farms with coca only, that would be quite benefit for me. Uh, okay, so let's try to... I need to import... Let's see, I need sugar. I need wool, I need blocks, I need cotton, I need coca, and I need hides. There you go. The reason why I'm getting both wool and cotton is because I have the upgrade for this thing. Yeah, there it is. Use both wool and cotton. As long as both goods are available, increase the output by 50%. So, you get the idea. See? A lot of more resources. <laughs> money. I am making money out of thin air. Okay, let's actually do some improvements to the citizens. Fast food joint. Okay, that sounds nice. So basically what this thing does is uh, provides fun to visiting citizens and tourists. Increase the food happiness of visiting citizens. Preferred by, relax, uh, preferred by relaxation and child tourists. Visitors must be at least poor. Okay. So I can build this thing somewhere here. Uh, let's squeeze you here maybe. Yeah, that's like a nice spot. Next to the church. Arcades. Okay, this thing requires power, so won't work at the moment. Movie theater, same thing. Uh, what else we could try to build? Spy Academy, security checkpoint. Can be placed on the road to check drivers by hitting crawls. Because it's crime safety and induces liberty. Hmm. Okay, maybe I'm gonna leave it for now. Uh, what else we could try to build? Aircraft carrier! Ho ho! And finally, the Childhood Museum provides fun to visiting citizens and tourists. There is no wealth requirement for visitors. Unique. Yes! I need this thing. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, I'm gonna build this thing somewhere Hmm, because this is like a very important thing in the entire like uh, tropical society I'm gonna put it in a nice fancy place here Okay, and we're gonna like redo the surroundings a little tiny bit so the people know That this used to be El Presidente house home actually uh, Let's see Let's maybe get this one. Yeah Can I get like a fancy one? This one's a fancy one Build. Build. Okay, and I can make... Wait, how much space I have behind? Little. Hmm. Okay, let's make this thing. Get out. And I'm gonna add more parks, maybe. This thing. Okay, something like this. Yeah, something like this is gonna work. So this thing goes here. And same one goes here. And I can make in the middle something like... I don't know, this. Yeah, this works. There you go. <laughs> El President used to live here, guys! Remember that! What else we could try to build? Snooker's Bay. Provides fun to visiting citizens and tourists. Okay. Visitors must be well off and better. Hey, that's actually good because they're like apartments over here. Wait, I cannot... I have to build it at the water? Why I cannot build this? Excuse me. Must be placed on the fishing ground. Really? Wait, what? On the fishing ground? You're shitting me right now. No, you are not. Okay. Um, that's like quite interesting. So, can I build it over here somewhere? Oh, and how in the shit my people are supposed to enter this thing? Like visit this thing? Hmm, no idea. I'm gonna keep this thing for later on. Net club requires power. Requires power. Golf course. Hmm, okay, maybe on the next island actually. Inspired billboard. Needs to be placed next to a road. It gives the appro uh, approval of each drive by. Hell yeah! <laughs> oh yeah! This is gonna be good! Let's build like one over here. There you go. 
El Presidente, vote today. Rotin asking, oh. how do I know if my neighbor is a spy? The palace responds, take no chances, spy on everyone. <laughs> take no chances, spy on everybody. <laughs> really? Palantamo, really? Uh, okay, want to build this thing here. There we go. Let's make like this thing somewhere here. <laughs> Increases the loyalty by making imports. <laughs> How to make an entire mess on Tropico? Build a shitloads of billboards. Hell yeah! <laughs> Lovely! It even have like work modes. Yours truly increases the approval of drives by. Tropico flag decreases the chances of citizens. What? Decreases the chances of citizens living in the vicinity. Okay. Open doors. Small of them. Decreases the pollution of residential buildings in the vicinity by 53%. Watch yourselves. Uh, becoming criminal. Decreases the chance of building in the vicinity to catch fire. Wow! Wait, so I can build this thing next to my housing. So one, two, three. Here. One, two, three. One, two, three. Here. One, two, three. One, two. Okay, build it like here. So I can grab this. Uh, this is the pollution of residential. Seriously? Oh my god! <laughs> now this is nice! <laughs> yes, I have also developed a statue of myself. Wait, where the fuck was the statue? There it is. Because it's the beauty in the area. Hmm, okay. No idea what those things are, so let's build one. And can I change this thing now? No, I can't. Okay, so once you build one, that's it. Oh, which one I'm supposed to know? Which one's better? Fortunately, there. Welcome to family. Unforgiving overseer, humble servant. Just dance. Does the pulse matter? I have no idea. Welcome to family. Okay, let's work with that one, I guess. There you go. <laughs> have fun. Another good thing is that I have like a bunch of lumber yards, right? And I improve them, so they provide me with more logs. So now the lumber mill is actually like full of work as well. And even the shipyard is... Wait, qu has quite a lot of the planks. Oh, I can upgrade this thing. I don't want to. Uh, so that means I can try to make the furniture factory. Possess planks to produce furniture. It means pollution. So... I could try to build that thing somewhere. And we could try to make additional money, right? So let's try to do so. And I'm gonna build you somewhere here. A good idea? Something like this. Okay, and let's hope for the best. Also, I'm gonna surround this thing with a little bit of decorations. I need to find like a way to reduce pollution. Like a lot. Uh yeah, okay. This area over here is fucked up because of the mines, so that's why. I don't know why this zone is so fucked up. No idea why this territory is so fucked up. I can uh, I can understand this one, but like it's because of the parking. Really? I think it does because I have a parking over here, and apparently people don't like to live here. Hmm. Okay. And how's the house quality over here? Housing quality f fifty-two. 52, 52, hmm. Okay. No idea how this thing exactly is supposed to work. Normally this entire land should be like high quality, high land, you know, people should be happy around here, but apparently because of the parking laws I have built, they're not happy. Hmm. Okay, that's interesting. Right, anything else we could try to do when it comes to... Ooh, jewelry. Okay. So remember that this is actually like super good, but first we need to look for gold. So, let's... Oh, great. <laughs> Motherfucking uranium in the middle of my farming zone. How fucking lovely. Okay, nothing over here. Ooh. We have found a new farm. I mean, new resource. Okay, keep that thing in mind. Later on, we're gonna try to mine it out completely. Uh, okay, we have gold over here. We have some gold over here. Uranium here. More resources over here. More crap over here. More gold here. Hmm, okay, so for start, we could try to work here on it. I could try to mine this entire gold out, 
and because there's like this ancient ruins over here, later on we could try to build like a tourist park over here. It's gonna take a lot of time, but the thing is that I don't like tourism in this game. Like I don't like tourism in Tropico whatsoever. I remember I tried to do that in Tropico 4 and that didn't work for me. Like it's hard to establish and the profit is questionable, so you get the idea. But apparently now the tourism is a thing. Can build an airport, economy hotel, science lookout, hotel, motel, garbage village, beach uh, vile cabin, tourist port. But arrive and depart from the uh, from here with a ship. Okay, that's nice to know. So I don't want to build a bridge. I want to build uh, like a landing thingy. Allow citizens and tourists to go into boats. People traveling on boats can dock at landings. So I want to build those two things. And we're gonna connect to this island over here. I kinda hope to actually land on this side, so... Let's see, can I build this thing somewhere? Like maybe on this side over here. Okay, and can I build another one over here now? Let's see, landing. Can you work with me? I want to build it over here? Yeah, let's assume I wanted to work over there. Now the Kimster post as well. This thing goes here. And this thing will go... More or less... Let's see, I can make like a docking area over here, so let's build it over here. Hope it's gonna actually like work. Oh, something I did not notice. The furniture factory requires power. Hmm. Okay. Election is it looks like we have to make the power plant after all. Shit, okay, well, build it for now, later on I can scrap it. Like, I'm, I'm shitting with money anyway. I'm gonna wonder how this thing works. Oh, you just build it. Hmm, that's an interesting thing. Right, where is the power plant? Canary creamy. Either pineapples fish or produce canned goods. Limited pollution. Really? So I could try to build the fish farms. And then I could try to surround them with, well, surround them and build like, let's say, a canary next to it. And I could try to make some money out of it. Hmm, that's like not a bad idea. But first things first, where is... Oh, cathedral and hospital as well. Asylum? Garbage dump. Produces pollution of other buildings within range. While creating pollution itself. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I want this thing somewhere. I just don't know where. Hmm. Where I can build this thing? I tried to build it on the bloody ass mine, but I don't think this is gonna actually work. I could try to redo this zone a little tiny bit. Right? If I could... Squeeze it here. Let's see. Will this thing actually work? Yeah. I'll have to demolish those two things. That's not a bad idea. So even though I'm not making new like facilities yet, I'm still making like a bunch of money. I'm so happy with this thing. Okay, I've started like a bunch of construction projects over here. We're building the power plant here. I've uh, ordered the furniture factory to get built in a different place. Garbage dump, how do you work? This is pollution of all buildings within reach, with the base cleaning rate. And this is the pollution of industrial buildings only. The cleaning rate is increased by 110%, the building own pollution is decreased by 10. Oh. Okay, so we could try to specialize this thing. Right, that's quite interesting. Hmm. Now the question is, does the power plant ac uh, account as a industrial building or residential building? <laughs> Technically, this should be industrial, I know, but, you know, questionable thing within Tropico. Uh, let's make, like, maybe this in, uh, better parks over here. Yeah, a fountain next to a power plant. Because why the fuck no? I can afford it. I remember. <laughs> ah, much better. Right. Okay, we have to just wait for the constructions to finish for now. Can I get some decent edicts right now? Let's see. Tax cut. Increase the approval of citizens. Okay, happy meet. Increases the efficiency of all ranchers and factory ranchers by 15%. Increases the job quality. Increases the standard export price of meat by 10. Hmm. Okay. Uh, nuclear testing. Receive a lot of cash. Increase standing with each faction by 15%. This is this health health threshold which, which citizens can die by 10. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Uh, spelling B. Upon graduation, each high school student has a chance of 5% of directly earning a college degree. Increases the upkeep of each high school by 
That's actually quite good. Assembly ban. Ends the protest upon activation. Hmm. National day. Increases the efficiency of taverns and cocktail bars by 10%. Increases crime safety by 0.15. Increases religious standing by 15. Hmm. Okay. Increases the pollution of all residential buildings by 14%. Increases the upkeep of all residential buildings by 20%. Increases conversation standing by 10. Uh, okay, so this is actually quite good, if you think about that. But are there any better? I don't think so. Like, all of those edicts suck. In my opinion. Like, I, I prefer the edicts from Tropical 4, I believe. Okay, there's some ancient uh, Mayan Aztec thing, whatever, over here. So, I could try to build, like, a housing thingy over here. Let's see how much the jewelry factory is gonna take from me. How many people do you require? Four. Okay. We just require four people. So that, that should be doable for me to work around with. Let's make like a nice road here for now. Right, now. People living, uh, people working at the mine will be poor, so we have to make this thing actually. Wait. Oh, I can get this thing. Low quality residential building for 16... Uh, households. Tenants must be at least poor. This is actually quite good building. I remember I used this thing in the old tropical games. Ha! Huh. Instead of like having the old bulk houses, like those things and this thing, we could try to get that thing instead. Housing the quality deteriorates over time. Yeah, I think I'm gonna like redo this thing again. This is not a bad idea. Destroy this thing. I'm gonna make you like nice quality lands over here. Like nice quality houses over here. So this thing. Oh yeah, look at this. Right, one, two, three, four. Awesome. Build that thing. Now, in the meantime, this thing uh, is gonna get built here because we need to have workforce in the mine, right? So build this thing here. Uh, we're gonna make the road next to you. I'm gonna set the road, road next to you. Connect somehow at least. This thing destroyed. Grab the road once again. There we go. Okay, that works. Now, some decorations around. I know there are like better ways to make money. I'm completely fully aware of that. I just prefer to play like the normal way, not look into like a bug in the game that I can like overuse. But I know there are like better ways to make money. Trust me, I know. Uh, okay, I would like to have a church here. So let's build you here maybe. Is that a good, sp good spot? Maybe no. Let's make some decorations first. So the people living here will actually like enjoy living. <laughs> it's not like the other uh, parts of my island don't enjoy living, right? Make this thing here. Make some more decorations. Uh, can I actually get the same ones? Yeah, let's actually start to decorate this thing the proper way. So this thing goes here. Increase the road a little tiny bit. There we go. Okay, I need to build the garage though, so yeah, sorry about that, but this is how it's gonna go. So we got that thing, we have housing for those people, right? Let's make some entertainment for them. How about a restaurant? Uh, where can I build a restaurant? So let's build you... Maybe here. I'm gonna build also a tavern. Let's build you... Here somewhere. Like this. Okay, what else we could try to build? Uh, I don't know. I can build a theater. Why, why the hell no? Let's let's build a theater. I'm gonna build. Really? <laughs> I didn't know I have acquired amphibious boats around here. Also, we need to have a hospital, like a clinic or whatever. Was the clinic? Oh, grocery store. Forgot about that thing. Grocery store, clinic. Let's build the clinic. Uh, here, I guess. Okay, what else do we need? Fire station? Not exactly needed for now. Newspaper. Because they need to like know who, who are they supposed to thank for this glorious little place for live, right? Uh, next to this thing maybe? But I can build you so this thing won't look too odd. Here. Lovely. Truly wonderful. Hey, those ones are not that bad. They look a lot, a lot more better than the previous thingy. Very nice.
Very nice. I can add electricity to make this thing even more fancy. Awesome. Right, so finally have the jewelry uh, building up and running. Let's see. Increases drop quality, increase production by 0.1. That's a lot. I think that's supposed to be 10%. Yeah, technically. Uh, okay, gold in, jewelry out. Okay, so now I can activate the gold mine. Put it to maximum like payment. There you go. People start to work here. This thing is going to work as well. And now... I've made, I found like a good trade deal with the uh, with the smugglers for jewelry. So basically, they're gonna pay me shitloads of money for jewelry. And if needed, I can basically buy gold as well. If I can only find it, there it is, gold. So thirteen thousand uh, per one hundred per one thousand unit, right? So thirty thousand, and they buy for thirty-three thousand gold mine. Just shock the gold mine when it comes to industry, guys. So the jewelry is working. Do we have any jewelry over here? I think I exported some at the moment. Chocolate. Okay, chocolate came in. Furniture came in. Okay, it's already 30,000. That's nice. But I'm waiting for the gold. Cloth. Jewelry. There it is. 300. So oh my god. <laughs> Did you see how this thing jump it? Jewelry is worth a lot. Like a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot money. 74,000 right off the bat like like there's nothing <laughs> Sweetness and the and the ships still keep coming 94,000 94,000 is about to get exported expect for the goods I need for my own production. I made 98,000 I think or 101. I don't, I don't know <laughs> So I think my economy for now should be stable. Okay, so so instead I'm getting to the end of the record time uh, for this episode it's going nicely. Uh, I've changed some of the building, like housing qualities around my island. For example, like this thing, again. What I think the people, yeah, this one is like empty. So hope that the people here are like more, way more happy right now. I try to get rid of the, of the shacks. Okay, you're broke. So mo the only people who are living in shacks at the moment are the ones who are broke. So I changed this one to accept people who are broke, but apparently they just li uh, prefer to live to live in a separated uh, family, so like only one person per family. College, inside watchtower. How the fuck you, a college degree, you work in a watchtower and you're living in a shack? Oh, because you are poor, okay. The military need to have proper payment over here, so hopefully they will work, in, they will live in a like better conditions later on. Okay, so next time, hmm. Next episode is gonna be probably me trying to establish the tourism or we're gonna try to get the cars. Oh, also, one more thing. Uh, just to be... just so I won't forget about it. There you go. <laughs> I'm gonna leave this thing for the next episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you liked the episode, please say it helps a lot. Helps you all in the next video.